Oh wait, the fucking that was bullshit. Um, so we are fucking live, ladies and gentlemen. Um, this is not Mr. Arkansas. This is a uh, Captain Kike, uh, Xavier Casablanco, and Mrs. Lana Rose, aka Megan Rose. Megan, uh, Megan. Captain Megan, Megan Anderson, uh, Megan. This is not your actual name. Uh, this isn't even your actual channel. No. You are no, no. Uh, do you actually want to introduce yourselves to the public as uh, Megan Rose or Suicide Girl Picks? <laughs> yeah, yeah. What do you want to do? You want to Fucking Megan Rose. <laughs> yeah. So, so Suicide Girl Picks. <laughs> nice echo you got there. Where'd you get at? Where do you get it at? The fucking broke boy store. Um, cool. That's great. So. Suicide Girl Picks. I hear you're getting a fucking channel. Is that correct? Or did I hear that from like the Schizophrenia Beautiful Mind store? I think it's just all in your head. But yeah, sure. <laughs> okay, cool. Like, that's awesome. So why? why no, but you... I do have an OnlyFans you can fucking check out. <laughs> Is that cool? Is that true? Is that, Is that true? Yeah, you head ass. Okay, great. So the the Megan Rose uh, store, the, the Megan Rose department is now open. That's right. So for um, a few quick payments of actual shekels, actual departments, actual money, Monopoly money, on this fucking header right here, you can get some provocative pictures. That's right, provocative fucking pictures. Uh, you get the fucking drift. But before you go and... Spank your meat, go to the fucking deposit and just um uh, hit a few fucking sperm deposits into the fucking um the spank bank. Why don't we fucking talk about this week's fucking card? Okay. I know that you're a secret fucking MMA goon. Is that right? Totally. Absolutely. Totally. Maybe. Oh yeah, bro. Yeah, I know, dude. I know this uh spending a thousand hours with your boy fucking rubbed off a little bit of fucking elbow juice. Is, is that correct, dude? <laughs> For sure, for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure, <laughs> for, sure, for, sure. Fucking, for sure, for sure. Let's fucking just be gone over to fucking Tapology because let's be honest, all these bums just look at fucking Tapology because who the fuck are we if we're not just reading fucking these Tapology bums? Okay, so this card is um. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Covington versus fucking Woodley, you know what I mean? Fucking shit. Um, so this first fucking card, um, get your script out, bitch. Like, <laughs> it, fuck it. It. yeah, you got the fucking script out, bitch. All right, it's Tyson <laughs> Nam versus fucking Jerome Rivera. Now, yeah, that's fucking... why it's like my f the the fucking Nam versus <laughs> Rivera. This one is that the one you're talking about? <laughs> yeah, three, you piece of shit. <laughs> yeah. Elaborate. Yeah, so this fight for sure reminds me of my first relationship. A complete fucking train wreck. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. Um, that's, that's a badoom. That's a like, that's, that's just that's, like... That's great. That was a good, that was a good one. You, 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 <laughs> you, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then, so it was, it was fucking terrible. It was not the set. Yeah, so you've you fucked up, or they fucked up, correct? Yeah, totally. So it was a train wreck. Didn't expect much of a finish. I would assume the pullout game was weak, correct? <laughs> well, with two canceled bouts previously, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. That the pullout game strong with Nam. You know, Nam. Now, like, you can't fucking close, you know, those those fights, bro. They just kind of evaporate. You know, Nam, just uh, his game, his pullout game is strong. You know, they just kind of like they can't close a fight with fucking Tyson Nam. And although this 36 year old is a whole ass man, whole ass man. Him, whole ass man, Erwin Rivera poses the ability to lose his fucking arm during transitions with that in fucking mind. I'm gonna go in. Nam. I'm gonna go. Yeah, Nam. I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna go with fucking Tyson Nam to get it done with a fucking nuke into fucking um, Jerome Rivera. I just think that he's got the tools, he's got the reach, he's got the length. 
I think, you know, the, the motherfucker is going to go for a leg kick. I think it's just going to be like um, dunion rings for that other motherfucker. You know, <laughs> just like, you just see, you just see it. There's levels to this. Corey Anderson hitting the pavement. I just, you just see this, this, this douche canoe. He's, he's just weak, bro. He's, he's Samuel Jackson from fucking Unbreakable, dude. He's Mr. Glass. He's, he breaks on the fucking cement, dude. He just, you know, a glass wind does the chicken bones or whatever the fuck Poirier was saying when he was snoring against Conor McGregor. So this fucking guy. Oh, speaking of Kaiken saws, he's trying to come in. No, 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 nope. B -b 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 Banned. But no, not really. I can't ban him because um, he has the Jew groups against him. He's trying to come in because he's a glutton for punishment and his mom is genetically inferior. So yes, moving on, moving on. And apparently um, yeah, I'm an anti-Semite because your picture is something that, yeah, okay, whatever. Yes, anyway, because ra ra Ratatouille and iFunny somehow made relevance back to the anti-Semitism game, you know, even though fucking free speech is like the correct, the complete opposite of fucking um, what anti-Semitism is. Um, so second on the card, what do we have in store in the way of Andre Ewell versus Erwin Rivera? Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. I meant Jerome Rivera. You see, I'm getting my Riveras mixed up already. It is two in the fucking morning. So what do you got for me, Megan? I mean, I'm going to go with the fucking first guy. Why is that? The homeboy with the tats. He bro, can he's get got it. Big tats, bro. <laughs> he can, in fact, get it. He can, in fact, get it. I believe so too. You will buy however way he wants. Erwin does look like an MXB minion. Uh, do you do you agree with that notion, bruh? Yeah. Yeah, bruh. All bruh. the way. All the way. I think it's about this time at the fucking podcast that we take a uh, smoke break. When you when you agree, do you got a fucking uh, dab hit lined up or what? Fuck. No. <laughs> Okay, we'll find one, and we'll be back with a shortly sponsored message. Okay, moving on. Um, so we got Randy Costa versus Journey Newsom. Newsom's got way more KO power. I think this is true. While Costa is still pretty inexperienced, I see you, bars. And he's one in one in the UFC, five in one total. Plus, he looks like fucking Adam Sandler. And don't you mess with the Zohan, man. This this script fucking sucks. Um, I think. <laughs> <laughs> i wonder who wrote it yeah i wonder who wrote it uh, i think if tory lanes <laughs> tory lanes can weather the storm against jacksonville zo he should be able to walk home with the dub yeah he is a, he is a manlet i agree um xavier from six hours ago but, <laughs> but um if if he yeah if he does weather the storm against the zohan i do think it's a good fight to to bet over the fucking one and a half. You know what I mean? I think they're both like, I think I think Costa is like a like a three punch YD, and I think like once he tires himself out, you know what I mean? I think Journey does. He's a durable little lad, and I think he can coast through a decision, and possibly like a third round TKO or perhaps a submission. So maybe put a prop for a third round finish. Uh, what do you think, Megan? I like the sound of that. <laughs> you like the sound of that, as do I. As do I. So what do you like to do when you're watching the UFC? Yeah, wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> what do you like to know? I... Smooth brained response. Okay. <laughs> Fuck off, dude. It's 2 a.m. It's 2 a.m. in the morning. I've almost been up for 24 hours, just say. Just knowing. I don't that. know, man. There was a guy. There was a guy. That fell asleep during a live stream after 29 and a fucking half hours but um some, some fucking idiot yeah, some faggot, right? um 
fourth fucking fight of this shit McDick card. We have Derek the Preacher's Coal Miner uh, Miner versus TJ Lamarami. Miner's a fucking flake, guys. I think it's no fucking uh, conspiracy theory there. He's got the consistency of a wet noodle. The man gives up his neck like a fucking giraffe salesman. You got to give it to the coal miner's daughter here. I think TJ Dillashaw walks on with the, uh, with the fucking win. Um, so um, this is another smoke break. You know, I think no fucking question here. So we got to just like, we got to give our sponsors to fucking, um, what are our sponsors again? We got Doghouse, Thick Sporting Goods, fucking BJ Restaurants, <laughs> Five Guys Burgers and Fries, and Wendy's. And I think that's it. <laughs> that's all we got Alrighty, please sponsor us i'm fucking poor and then um so yeah we will get to, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it um great 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 and then um so on, on like the the no name the bum the bum leagues like the like the the dwarf leagues we got um alfar over clark i think that goes without question clark is like an instagram thought you know what megan aspires to be but like but like like real real fucking like successful like a suicide tattoo fucking goon but like she's really bad though and alfar has got nothing to lose you know she's from oklahoma like she don't give a fuck you know what i'm saying like i think at plus 185 i think she's a steal and i think if you're feeling really froggy then you know you bet third round submission like maybe a tko or whatever at like plus 650 or whatever but you know just i think it's i think plus 185 i think you're like monopoly man as it is so go for alfar i think clark is like what her best win is like against a bum dislocated shoulder page van zan and then like after that what was after that what was before that just like the regional kangaroo leagues like i don't know so yeah, I think Alfar over Clark is a really safe bet, but who the fuck do I know? I'm just like some like bummy college kid who just did like 30 hours of a fucking live stream. Um lesbian versus cokehead is number six. Um what do you have to say about that one, Megan? Oh, he's son of I can uh, say that uh <laughs> when I was nachos is one hell of a grappler. <laughs> She's very handsy yet firm. Uh, <laughs> Brandon, though, you know, he'd be spaghetti feeling all over the place with saliva lube <laughs> being an absolute must for his riddle. Couldn't have said it that made myself. any sense to you. <laughs> what was that? I, think, I don't know. I, I think that was just like pretty, um, pretty spot on, pretty spit it on. It was pretty spot accurate. on. Yeah, spit couldn't, on. I couldn't have lubed it up better myself. So, um, spit on it. So I would take I would take not the uh, Colombian cowboy and I would go with the Brazilian the uh, you know COVID um over, yeah. over any day of, any day of the week and trice on Sundays for sure for sure um yeah but it's just it's women's MMA I think it's a coin flip but for sure I think you would pick the the one that hasn't been finished um quadruple fucking times yeah and um that's that's what all I gotta say or that's what all Megan's gotta say about that uh any fucking way. Mm -hmm. Ah, uh, geez, Louise. Um, Is that the yeah. Taco Bell from earlier? Oh, you know it. Um, <laughs> and then um, seven is Bectic and Damon Jackson. Uh, Jesus fucking Christ. Why do we even have to talk about Bectic? I really don't like him. I think he's a one-punch whitey. But Jackson got that billboard five head, you feel me? He trains at Shy Star. I really just got to go with Bectic by Rudy in the first and that's it <laughs> okay <laughs> like just all right fuck it whatever you know what i mean like, sure. well, <laughs> you gotta you gotta bet on back dick uh you know bet on back dick <laughs> bet espinoza versus david dobrik david uh, dobrik my boy <laughs> i'll just let you take this one home fuck. country road yeah all right on one hand we've got my boo david dobrik coming in like <laughs> looking like a slavic superhero ready to shoot another vlog squad on that ass <laughs> and then on the other hand what do we have on the other hand xavier oh oh man jordan espinoza the man with the plan the fucking superhero with the cooper hero um 
the who I we're gonna not, have to I, go with because David didn't give me a fucking callback. What? Yeah, dude, you were a superhero with the with the pooper scooper, and I can't find the script, and I'm just talking out of my asshole right but now. I know. Um, yeah. <laughs> I know. That's um it. maybe next time you get a call back david says the the repeater fucking faggot yeah, that Kevin what I just said. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then um to close it to close it to close it off um what do you fucking have to say oh yeah um thanks for watching the shit show <laughs> if you want the main card predictions and some more of me then check out my only fans that's literally all I'm gonna say because fuck you, Xavier. I'm not reading the last bit. <laughs> Peace in the Middle East. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Uh, do you have anything else to say? Like, nah. Um, fuck you, Brandon. And <laughs> fuck politics. <laughs> and fuck you and fuck me. Maybe later. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I'll take that for a dollar. Only a dollar. Face tomato nosed. Bye bye. Oh, we gotta read the private channel. Oh Jesus, Xavier, it ain't a joke. Well, you're a joke. You fucking pepperoni kike. Um, take my shit off. Why? I might have to put it back on. Megan, you're an anti-Semite. Are you sure about that? Nice Holocaust pick. I mean, it wasn't. It was just you as a mouse because you look like fucking Remy. I'm gonna get you real talk. You don't have a car, my boy. Do you want me to pick you up, bro? I might do DoorDash. I mean, I might do uh, Uber. Dude, like, Brandon, how many fucking fake accounts do you have? Like, this just proves that you're fucking... Okay, what? Yeah, okay, flying squirrel, bro. How about you get your arms and fly away? Like, <laughs> all right. Anyways, it's been real. It's been fun. Megan, I'm going to tell your mom. Okay. <laughs> yeah, bro, why don't you threaten to beat up her fucking brother again, you fucking homeless? All right. Anyways, bye. Your drunk mother was fun, like, crying <laughs> on the street. That's See ya. not... Oh my god. <laughs>